muscle energy for the levator scapulae and the upper trapezius. So again, as I mentioned, the upper trapezius running from the neck, the nuchal line, down the posterior neck, and the levator scapulae running from the upper cervical vertebrae, and then attaching to the inside of the scapula, so running from here down to about there. And so what I do is I lift the head gently, and I take one arm, place it under the neck, and place it towards the opposite shoulder. Then roll the patient's head up towards my elbow, which then puts a nice stretch on this area here, heading from the scapula, the shoulder, up to the um, cervical spine, therefore stretching the levator scapulae and the trapezius. And so I can do a nice stretch here, and then I can turn this into muscle energy by asking the patient to try to turn their head and side bend their head to back to the barrier, or to the left in this case. So go ahead, push back. One, two, three, and relax. And then I can stretch him and bring it further and bring him to his new barrier and then push back one more time. One, two, three, and relax. And then I'll bring him to his new barrier by rolling him further to the right, and then push back one more time. One, two, three, and relax. And then pushing him to his new barrier one more time for a final stretch and bringing him back to neutral. I would then repeat this on the other side. So placing my arm under, heading towards the opposite shoulder, I, put stre I uh, stretch those muscles by rolling him towards my elbow, and then I have him push back. One, two, three, and relax. And again, one, two, three, and relax. And rolling a little further, and then one more time, push back. One, two, three, and relax. Great. I find this technique works really well if you're having trouble getting in there with the soft tissue. Some patients, their cervical musculature is really tight and giving them lots of headaches. And so if you start with that technique, it tends to loosen everything up so then you can get in with the soft tissue.